یا یو اللہ دین امن اذا قمتم الى الصلاه فاغسلوا وجوهكم او یو بلیو when you rise up to say your prayers you must wash your faces wa aidikum ilal marafiq and your hands till your elbows wamsahu bi ru'usikum and wipe your heads with water wa arjulakum and also wash your feet ilal ka'bain till the ankles up till the ankles wa in kuntum junuban if you are unclean due to the seminal discharge that seminal discharge may be due to coitus sexual intercourse or it might be due to a night fall in kuntum junuban fattahru now you have to to have to clean yourself thoroughly that is now you to have to take a bath you have to bathe your whole body wa in kuntum marda but if you are diseased if you are sick and ill you can't take a bath aw ala safarin or you are on some journey you don't find water aw jahadukum min ajad adu minkum min alghait or someone of you comes from you know the toilet and he has you know answered the call of the nature aw la mustumun nisa or you had some you know intercourse with the women falam tajidu man and you don't find water fatayammamu saidan tayyiba so perform tayammum now seek pure earth tayyiban famsahu bi wujuhikum wa yadikum min and now you just rub or wipe your faces and your hands with it ma yuridu allah li yaj'ala alaykum min haraj allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want to give you hardships or difficulties or impediments in deen walakin yuridu li yutahhirakum but he does want to purify you all these commandments are for the purification he wants to purify you but doesn't want to overburden you so he has given the concession if the water is not there if you are sick you can't to take a bath okay then only tayammum will suffice so allah makes the things easy for you wala yutimma ni'matahu alaykum la'allakum tashkurun and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to complete his blessings on you so that you are really grateful to him and thankful to him waskuru ni'matullah alaykum now this is the most important ayah of this surah i told you this is the surah of covenant waskuru ni'matullah alaykum always keep in mind the blessings of allah on you wa misaqahu allazi wasaqakum bihi and his covenant that in which he has tied you is qultum sabina wa ta'ana when you said we have heard and we have accepted and we obey and we submit now this is the covenant the sharia is an agreement is a covenant between you and your rab your lord wa wasaqakum bihi is tied you now you are not a free man like other free people he can do anything he likes but now you are tied up tied up with the peg like the horse مثل المؤمن كمثل الفرس في خيته the likeliness of a muslim woman is the, to the likeliness of a horse tied to a peg with a rope now you are tied you believe in allah you have to obey you believe in messenger of allah you have to follow him you believe in quran you have to act upon it waskuru ni'mat allah alaykum wa misaqahu alladhi wasaqakum bihi is qultum sami'na wa ta'na wattaqullah always keep allah in your mind in allah alim bi zat is sudur verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what is there in your chest ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu i refer to this ayah last night also ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kunu qawwamin lillahi shuhada bil qist this ayah appeared in surah an-nisa also only in the reverse you know order ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kunu qawwamin bil qist shuhada lillah that was in surah an-nisa يا ايها الذين امنوا كونوا قوامين لله ستاند اب وذ فول فورس فار الله سبحانه وتعالى ناو يو ار هيز سولجرز اون ارث يو ار ذا بوليس مان اوف الله اون ارث يو ار ذا ريبريزنتيتيف اوف الله اون ارث يو هاف تو انفورس هيز لوز يو هاف تو استابليش هيز دين وذ فول سترينج ذات الله سبحانه وتعالى هاز جيفن يو ستاند اب كونوا قوامين لله شهداء بالقسط and you should be a witnesses to whatever is just you should be enemies of injustice that is the importance of justice in islam ya ayyuhal ladina amanu 
کونو قوامین بل قسط شہدا اللہ یا یادین امنو کونو قوامین اللہ شہدا بل قسط اینڈ دیز ٹو تھنگز آر انٹرچینجیبل اللہ از دی جسٹ ون وین یو آر اسٹینڈنگ اپ رائٹ فار ہم یو آر اسٹینڈنگ فار جسٹس کونو قوامین للہ شہدا بل قسط ولا یجرمنکم شنان قوم الا اللہ تعالی اینڈ لک ٹو اٹ دیٹ دی انمیٹی اور ہیٹریڈ اف اے نیشن should not be able to take you away from justice you have to do justice even to the enemy ala la qadilu a'dilu do justice huwa aqrab lit taqwa that is nearer to taqwa and without taqwa you are nothing without taqwa you won't get anything in the hereafter and justice is nearer to taqwa wa taqulla and have taqwa of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inna allaha khabirun bima ta'malun verily allah knows what you are doing wa'ada allahu alladhina amanu wa 'amilu salihat allah has made a solemn promise with those who come to believe and then they do good deeds lahum maghfiratun wa ajrun azim for them is the forgiveness and a very big reward wal ladina kafaru wa kazzabu bi ayatina as for those who conceal now these are two words you know kafaru wa kazzabu are they synonymous absolutely synonymous no two words of a language are absolutely synonymous that's a rule there's difference and it's not poetry it's the kalam of allah there is no additional word here what is kufr to hide something it is kufr now the nature of a person testifies to it that this is correct He is suppressing his nature, hiding the testimony of his nature. It is kufr. And what is takzib? Now he is belying it. You are wrong. You are not a prophet of Allah. This is the, this is a crime of a higher degree. You are suppressing the truth to which your own nature, your own heart is testifying. This is kufr. And you are saying you are wrong. Oh Muhammad, you are not the prophet of Allah. This is takzib. والذين كفروا وكذبوا بآياتنا أولئك أصحاب الجحيم. Those who have committed this double crime, they suppressed and and concealed the testimony of their natures and their souls, which was testifying to the truth of Muhammad and the truth of this book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And then you know they had the courage to say out, "You are wrong. This is you are not the prophet of Allah. You are a liar, kazab." So whosoever does this, Ulaika Sabul Jaim, they are the people of hell.